now it's getting like nice and pleasant in Hyderabad. Thank God the summer is gone now. We can plan some great long rides. Talking about long rides, let me give you some tips. Okay, so there is nothing more enjoyable or pleasurable than going on a long tour on two wheels, especially for bikers. And in my case, whenever there is an occasion or you know, like a wedding or something uh, where I have to travel to another place, the first thing that comes to my mind is, can I take my bike there? I immediately start planning about the route, about uh, the distance, I calculate the distance and all that. I plan my breaks and you know virtually I start thinking about uh, going on a ride to that place. And especially if it's a place like you know Bangalore or Nagpur. You know these places are like really incredible to ride to. They are well connected from Hyderabad. The highways are just you know class apart. You remember the wedding trip that I've done before? The Nagpur trip? A gastar la suela de mi lighter, la única persona que me podría curar ese agar para después salir a flote voy a navegar. Yes, that one. That was the most pleasurable trip I've ever done. It was the most memorable trip. The weather, uh, it was around Jan ending. It was just perfect. I'm really looking forward to such occasions. Anyway, talking about long rides, uh, let me g share my experiences. Let me tell you how to prepare for a long ride. I hope you might find these helpful if you're planning for a long ride soon. Okay, the first thing. This is more important than anything else. More than the type of bike you're riding, more than where you're going and all. The first thing is mental preparation. You need to be mentally prepared before going for a long ride. I'm not saying that you will not be able to do a long ride without mental preparation, but the whole riding experience uh, you know, works against you if you're not mentally prepared. Uh, what I mean by mentally prepared is you need to pre-program your brain that uh, you want to come across a few obstacles during the ride. It can be rain, it can be a mechanical failure in the bike, it can be anything. But if you're mentally prepared for all these things, nothing can stop you. I mean, of course you'll feel bad when these things happen, but at least in your mind you know that these things are going to happen and you will take it in a more positive way when these things happen. So yeah, mental preparation is very important, not just in bike riding guys, anything in your life, right? Let it be an exam, let it be if you're going to a job interview, you need to be mentally prepared. You're just going to tell your mind that this is going to be tough, but hey, we got this. So right now you prepared your mind, that is the software you can say and next thing you need to do is prepare the hardware, that is your bike. Take your bike to the service center, get it checked thoroughly. If there are small problems, get it sorted out. Don't take your bike to long tours even if it's like a small problem. Get it fixed, replace the parts if needed. And also one more important thing is uh, you need to learn a few basics about your bike. How things work, how to troubleshoot your bike, what to do in case of a small issue. For example, your bike might stall for a number of reasons. It can be a loose contact between you know the spark plugs or sometimes in older bikes, you know, air locking problem. So all these are like pretty minor issues but we get stalled on the road because of these issues. If you know how to fix these small things, you're good to go. Apart from your bike's mobile charger, power banks, uh, mounts, holders, all the stuff, do remember to carry a proper toolkit, medical kit. I mean these things are like basics, I really don't want to stress too much on this but, but don't forget to take these things. You can carry basic medicines like paracetamol, you know, medicines for fever, headache, painkillers and all that basic stuff. And also recharge your phone with sufficient balance and uh, proper internet packages, I mean if it's a prepaid. So nowadays you can download offline maps from Google, this, that is like really helpful because you're going on a long tour. There might be cell signal drops and all that stuff so it's better to have offline maps i also try to talk to a few friends who have taken that route earlier that way i can know about the road condition if for example my friend says it's a very bad road then i might consider taking an alternate route or if there's no alternate route once again mental preparation i might be like okay the road for the next 100 kilometers is bad so i'll be mentally prepared and also i can plan my you know breaks and all that accordingly the next most important thing will be practicing before you go for this long ride, I really urge you to go and practice. Try to do 100 to 150 kilometers for at least, uh, you know, two or three times before the ride. And also make sure your fitness level is good, if not great. I really start working on my stamina and fitness. Having low fitness level will obviously make you feel more stressed, right? So don't ignore your diet and fitness, especially when your touring date is coming close. Also, you need to understand the fact that you can't ride for more than 250 kilometers at a stretch or maybe less unless you really want to stress yourself or you know 
challenge yourself irrespective of what you write whether it's a cruiser whether it's a super sport it doesn't matter the maximum you can drive at a stretch is 200 kilometers definitely on a cruiser little more maybe 15 to 20 percent more but nothing more than that your butt is gonna hurt definitely there are people who have done like thousand kilometers at a stretch i've done like six to seven hundred kilometers at a stretch with only one break i'm not saying that it's impossible but you're gonna really stress yourself plan your breaks every 100 to 150 kilometers depending on how bad you're feeling don't rush and go to that destination you know don't do it like a job take it slow plan breaks every one and a half an hour or you know 150 kilometers because even if you manage to you know finish that first 300 or 400 kilometers at one stretch trust me when you get closer to your destination most of the times your destination will be some town or a city right the traffic increases congestion increases there will be more potholes you will not see these open roads to you know just cruise like that this is the time where you feel really stressed and drained out you just want to put your bike aside and sleep on the footpath have some chai have some coffee or you know hydrate yourself mm, not alcohol and all that though remember you want to reach your destination not your final destination so don't drink and do all those stunts and one more important thing start early because you don't want to get stuck in traffic before you even reach the highway right and also because you feel really fresh in the morning get up by 4 30 in the morning get fresh have some light snack or something and make sure that you start by 5 15 a.m max also remember to avoid night riding though i'm a fan of night riding if you're doing a solo ride never do night rides because it is very risky you don't want to get stalled somewhere in the middle of the highway that too in the nights it's not safe even if you're like riding in a group uh, it's still recommended not to do right night rides short rides like 50 to 70 kilometers is fine in the night but try to avoid long night rides especially touring and all that also try to carry compact food like packed food you know biscuits uh, dry fruits nuts energy bars something like a snickers bar or a mars chocolates are good to carry because they have a lot of sugar in it and sugar is like instant energy carry a one liter water bottle that will be enough nowadays you're getting these slim one liter bottles because water is not really difficult to find unless you're riding into a desert kind of an area because most of the time you can find these small stalls or dabas anywhere you can just go and fill up the bottle or buy a new bottle don't stuff your bag or luggage with you know unnecessary items like chips and all that stuff don't eat spicy or junk food while riding not only will you have to deal with you know toilet breaks and all but you will obviously feel sleepy with a heavy stomach pack everything into a rain resistant bag put all your important stuff in plastic covers and then put it in the uh, water resistant bag just to be sure and finally the toughest thing to do guys getting proper sleep before a ride i really can't sleep before a ride guys due to the excitement due to the anxiety i keep getting all these dreams about the road about the highway yep just like that you need at least six to eight hours of sleep at least try to get that sleep it will make you feel fresh and energetic during the ride I hope you guys don't have a problem like me. Okay, so that's about it. These are a few tips that I shared from my experience. It could be different for others. If you people think I've missed something, please feel free to comment below and tell me what I've missed so that people can read those comments and it might help them. Don't worry, don't panic if this is your first uh, long tour ever. Just go ahead with confidence. Experience will teach you a lot more than I can tell you on this video. Every time you do a long ride, uh, you will learn a lot about yourself, you learn a lot about the ride and definitely you keep planning your uh, you know, future rides in a much better way. Alright then, uh, hit the subscribe button, give this uh, video a thumbs up if you liked it and yeah, follow me on Instagram. Take care, ride safe and most importantly, have fun.